bags. Hey gang, I'm Doctor Who. This is Account is a Joke, where it kind of makes sense so you can make dollars. Today we're going to take a look at a walkthrough problem on how to properly record journals under the direct write-off method. So if you're unfamiliar with the direct write-off method, don't fret gang, I'll drop a link to get you up to speed in no time. So with that being said, let's get it. So it tells us that Shauna Valley is an attorney in Los Angeles. Valley uses the direct write-off method to account for uncollectible receivables. At April 30th, 2024, Valley's accounts receivables total 19,000. During May, she earned revenue of 22,000 and she collected 15,000 on account. She also wrote off uncollectibles of 1,100 on May 31st. And the requirements tell us to use the direct write-off method to journalize Valley's write-off of uncollectible receivables and what is the balance of accounts receivable at May 31st? Easy breezy game. So we already know that there are two particular ways in which we could account for uncollectibles, the allowance method and the direct write-off method. We are focusing on a direct write-off method for this particular problem, which means that the company will directly write off accounts receivable after several times of not collecting the debt. Whenever this write-off takes place, we know that it directly affects accounts receivable by decreasing it, as well as recognizing the bad debt expense. So let's get to this problem. It says use the direct write-off method to journalize the write-off of accounts receivable. And so based on the description of this problem, they said she wrote off $1,100. So our proper journal entry for this is gonna be a debit to bad debt expense, and a credit directly to accounts receivable for the $1,100. And this transaction summarizes a write-off of an uncollectible account. So we're gonna check the answer. Good job, gang. Next, it tells us what is the balance of accounts receivable at May 31st. So one of the benefits of the direct write-off method is that accounts receivable is automatically adjusted. Therefore, we're gonna just simply update our T accounts within the ledger by utilizing the information given to us in the description. So it told us on April 30th, accounts receivable total $19,000. Gain, that is gonna be our beginning balance of accounts receivable. Then it told us that during May, she earned 22,000 of revenue on account, which means that our accounts receivable has increased by $22,000 which represents a net credit sale. Then we must also consider the collection on account for $15,000, which is gonna be a credit. And last but not least, we have to consider the write-off of $1,100, which constituted another credit of accounts receivable. And so after we summarize those events, our new ending balance for accounts receivable should be $24,900. We're gonna check the answer. Nice work, gang. So there you have it, a quick, easy example of how to properly execute a write-off under the direct write-off method. If that like bulb is clicking and you're closer to chasing the bag with this account and information, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and share the channel with your friends, gang. Don't be stingy. As always, I'm Dr. Who, and it's my humble pleasure to be here with you, and I'll see you soon. Thanks!